Hey everybody, Master Vrigo here, back with our map series, and today we're going to be going over Oregon. Alright, so we're going to start on the top floor, and we're going to work our way down and through the map uh, for dirty spots and angles that you can use on both attack and defense. Most of the spots that we're going to show you are going to be universal, but of course they, uh, some of them are going to be specifically to defenders, and some will be specifically to attackers. But for the most part, you can use them on either one, depending on the situation that you're in. So the first one that I want to show you guys is over here in Armory. If we blow open a spot right here, we can actually watch this door, which is a common entry point for attackers. And then over here, we can watch this window. So and of course this door. So this one hole right here can watch two different angles, uh, two different common entry points into the map. Now I would recommend this um, if you're going to be roaming and you're defending, uh, let's say, basement or kitchen. This way that they're not going to really be expecting you to be up here. If you're going to be defending up here, um, where these two bomb sites are here, then it's more than likely uh, they're going to be expecting you to be there a little bit more. So just keep that in mind. Alright, another good spot is if you open up some holes here, you can actually lay prone behind uh, this bureau. And you can watch the front door fairly well. And at the same time, of course, watching to see if anybody's going to be coming up this way. You can also watch here in the classroom window from this spot right here. So really, we're going to be able to cover all of these windows and doors that are entrances into the first floor um, on the east side of the map. Another thing to note is that this bookcase here is destructible. And if you make a hole like that, It's going to give you a nice tight angle here on this window without leaving yourself overexposed. There's a lot in between you and the window. And with the bomb being as bright as it is, it's going to be a little bit harder to see anybody back there. Now there are two common planting spots for this bomb site. For the most part, they're either going to try to breach through here and plant back here, anywhere back here. Or they're going to try to come in through this window and plant here. So we're going to go over a couple of different spots you can watch that from. So this bookcase here is destructible with an impact grenade or C4. And you can hold this angle here. You can crouch to even give you a little bit more cover. But you can watch that back corner there. And this spot is a really good spot to play from. You can get the entryway in, in through this door as well. Uh, you can't see the door itself, but they do have to come in through there if they want to do anything. So um, usually a last second rush is going to come in through this doorway. So you can kind of be ready to just pick them off there. Obviously you need to watch out for these windows. But... Definitely um, a good spot to be playing is back here, as long as uh, you're able to stay safe from the windows. Now, as for this spot here, you can actually open up here or have a mirror window. And you can actually hold back here behind the bomb. You can watch the window. And if they get in, you can watch the plant site here. So playing behind the bomb is a really good spot to watch that from. You can actually, um, if you're a roamer 
and all of your anchors dying and there's no one left on site and you know they're planting right here is underneath that window so you can know that they're planting in this back corner you can actually take them out through the floor without having to go up and then right here is this back right corner of small dorms or the generator room so if they're going to be planting over in that location you can do that and then of course this is the hole we made earlier to wash this window but we know over here near this fan over to this wall is the other common planting site now if you lose control of B and they're planting in B right here is going to be below the windows So you could be planting anywhere here if you have C4. I recommend putting it over in this direction uh, because this is where they're most likely going to be planting. All right, so another quick defender spot for the second floor is you can make a small hole here with a shotgun and another one here on the floor. If you're defending a basement, you can watch this hatch. Now, obviously, with the introduction of Habana, it may not be a thermite that's going for this hatch. But you could still take out the Habana pellets, um, at least catch them by surprise. So you may not get the thermite kill, because they may not bring a thermite. But if they bring a Habana, you can take out the pellets and then possibly rotate out this way. Or you can rotate out towards this direction if you have impacts to get out. Now for attack or defense, if for whatever reason you need to make sure nobody's entering meeting hall, you can open up a hole in the top of this wall. And watch here from stairs you can watch this doorway here and you can watch that doorway here again you can crouch if needed uh, for some extra cover but it's you're gonna be really hard to be spotted the holes obviously aren't gonna be this big if you use a shotgun um, or again if you use sledge they will be this big but take a look here when you come around this corner you're not going to be expecting someone to be back here. So, if you are going to be up in tower, um, Oregon, you know, maybe you're playing secure area and, you know, there's only roamers left. You know, you have a teammate in there securing. It's a good spot to, uh, to watch the doorways from. Now what a lot of people don't know is that this table here in meeting hall is destructible. You can make a hole here to watch classroom or watch this doorway here. Or you can watch this doorway here. So you can watch both of those entrances. Of course you can be on this side as well and watch this entrance. So a lot of people don't know that this is in fact destructible, so keep that in mind uh, when you're looking for a place to hang out. Now here in kitchen, you can watch all the way towards the basement stairs from this angle. You can do so being prone. Um, but if you are standing, you'll be able to see anybody that's uh, peeking up these stairs as well. So I would recommend, um, you know, Depending on if you're on attack or defense, this can work either way. Um, if you're on defense, you probably want to be you know, watching for anybody going down those stairs. Whereas if you're on attack, you're going to be watching for anybody coming up, so you're going to want to be aiming a little bit lower as to where their head's going to be. Now, you can hold another angle on it here as well. Um, you're going to have to have uh, better recoil control. You know, maybe just a couple of one taps. But you can hold this angle here as well to watch those stairs. Now, of course, if you end up with the unlucky task of defending dining hall, uh, a lot of people will reinforce that wall. I like to leave it open, um, or at least one of them open. You can stand up here and watch the doorway where a lot of last second pushes, pushes will come through. Um, and it gives you a nice line of sight. Usually people aren't expecting you to be up so high when they're coming in. 
you know, when they're pushing in, they're not going to be looking up. So, um, you know, their sights are going to be around this level. So even by the time they see you up there, they're going to have to move up where you're already aiming at them. So they probably get a couple of body shots into you, but as long as you have decent accuracy, you should have the advantage over them. You can also use this cart here to shoot through. Again, just you know, make sure you have the recoil management. Another spot to watch that door from is right here behind this pipe from bathroom. I've gotten quite a few kills through here. Um, so you can shoot through this entire area here. Um, and it's going to be very hard to see you. So I can show you what that looks like. Obviously, I don't have anybody there, but um, you know, you get this really tight angle here. And just remember the attackers um, or anybody pushing in through this door, most likely attackers, unless somebody jumped out a window, um, they're not going to be expecting this. You know, and even if they are, it's going to take them a second to line up the shot to get to get you if they're not hitting the pipes instead. So another good spot there in bathrooms uh, another good angle to hold um, if you're pushing in through garage you can see this doorway here um, if you're watching for any defenders that are going to be rotating through meeting hall you can watch this one here alright now down here in basement uh, there's not too many different spots to be holding um, you know, you can lay prone back here to watch this direction. You can put a deployable shield up here in the hallway, and you can watch the stairs. You can also have a spot here to watch the stairs as well. It's not as safe as the previous one, but. Um, I would recommend some more putting a deployable shield uh, here against this and then you can peek it from over here and then if you need to get into cover you can just get back behind the shield you're gonna maybe also want another one here in case this hatch gets opened up now kind of a reverse of what we were talking about there on attack if you're defending and you know they're pushing in through kitchen uh, you can kind of hold this angle here to watch kitchen door and with this barricaded here you can watch for the uh, push in through meeting hall so you can watch for the feet and go up if you need to a lot of people don't know that this wall here is destructible or they just really haven't paid attention to it um, you can't really do much from this side, but if you're watching for anybody coming up from basement, you can hold this up here, you can vault up here, you can actually get prone. If your legs want to cooperate, there we go. You can watch through here. But also... right here as well you can watch this door right here another thing to note is that in here in attic this entire floor is destructible so if the defenders are holding meeting room or they're holding meeting room to um, help defend basement you can get up here and get a pretty good line of sight, or at least put some pressure on uh, to the attic, uh, from the attic into meeting hall. All right, guys. So that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the return to our map series here on Oregon. Um, if there's any other dirty spots and angles that I may have missed for this map, um, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. We're going to be uh, getting back into this series here, so if you have another map that you'd like us to go over, also leave that down in the comments below. Um, but until next time, Master Vrego, out.